Hey everybody, what's up? And welcome to this week's live video, in a sense, or recorded video. Uh, we did one of these last week via live and I'll let Emmanuel kind of explain the, the purpose of it and what we're gonna cover on this one and then we'll just get right into it. Yeah, so uh, first of all, thank you for having me again on the stream. And um, yeah, so initially what my plan was, was to do a weekly live stream, uh, whether it's with Nick or whether it's with someone else who has their goals set in mind and whatever, and, you know, talk about them. Because in my opinion, that's something that's going to motivate them to do better and actually get what they want in the week and actually focus on that specific goal. Um, so I'm just trying it out and seeing how it goes and whatnot. Um, however, I tried to record it, but it didn't work out the way I wanted it to be and I wanted to post it. So we're going to do it this way and it should work better this time. Um, uh, but yeah, initially just talking about what are the goals for this week? How are you going to do them? What struggles did you have the week before and how can you, how can you fix those and do better this week? Um, so that's just a brief story. That's just a brief uh, overview of what my plan was for this Sunday, every Sunday session. So, yeah. Okay. Awesome. And we were talking, I mean, and I were talking about this. We may or may not like turn this into kind of like a podcast kind of thing. Cause I mean, it's kind of what it is already. It's a little off of that, but we may or may not do it. We'll just see how well this gets received. But anyway, we'll get right into it. I'll ask him some questions. He'll ask me some, we'll go over some like goal setting uh, stuff and what I will probably cover a little bit of everything. We'll just get right into it. Um, all right, so Emmanuel, how did you, you obviously have a fitness page right now and that's your main thing. How did you get started with the fitness, the fitness page specifically and kind of like doing your training and your course and whatnot and ideally wanting to coach people? How did you get started with that? Well, it all started when I moved out here to the US. Um, I knew that, you know, I'd be able to take fitness more seriously moving out here. Um, there's a bunch of people doing it and you know, I didn't, I wanted to be someone who was able to teach someone and not be the, you know, be the student through it all. Um, I had to start somewhere and I had to learn from the very beginning, the basics. And, you know, so I wasn't plateauing or, you know, and there were times where, you know, I didn't know much about fitness when I first moved out here. Um, the only thing that was keeping me fit was, my swimming practice. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I was a competitive swimmer for 11 years. Um, so that was, uh, you know, I got over swimming and I really wanted to focus more in the gym, build some size, build some really good lean looking muscle. And it took, it took some time. I mean, I've been out here for three years now and I was able to get the results I wanted pretty quickly within the past two years. Um, the first year was just a lot of playing around and figuring out things and just learning for myself. Um, and then the better I got, the more I wanted to just show people like, you know, what they can do to get to where they want to be. And now I have people looking up to me and asking me for ideas and how to do this and that. And, you know, I, I that's exactly what I wanted to get out of this. And I was always wondering should i start a should i start an instagram page will i be like everyone else but you know in order to be an influencer you should start something like this and you know represent yourself as an influencer and just take it from there and it's it's gonna it's gonna be hard finding your audience for the first chunk of it like i started this page back in march um so you know i haven't had it for that long uh, but you know it, i I can see the true fans are actually they're what's the word like they they they're yeah, keeping yeah they they're keeping up with my posts and everything so they they and then they comment on it they message me they and it's the the comments that I get from them and like the positive messages that I get and everything it's what's keeping me going and um all I'm doing now is just just trying to do better, do my best. Uh, it doesn't matter how many likes I'm getting, how many views I'm getting, because I know that over time that's gonna expand and 
you know, we all start somewhere and we all learn from mistakes and whatever, and we just build up from there. So, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Awesome. And so since we're focusing kind of on goals and you kind of mentioned some there, kind of like answer this question in a sense as well, but when you're faced with doubts, whether it's from yourself or for others or opposition or different problems, how did you confront those doubts, opposition, those issues or those problems? And how did you deal with them? And how did you move past them? Or how are you working to move past them maybe now? Do you mean like the, <clears throat> the issues that I faced throughout the whole thing? Yeah, I guess just in general, like whether it's like, you know, you have a plateau at a workout thing, or maybe you're just like, not getting as much traction online as you'd want to, or maybe you just like aren't having ideas or just like how obviously with every goal, there's going to be problems along the way. It's like accomplish that goal. So how do you deal with those problems to get to that goal? I guess. A lot of the, like a lot of it was nutrition. Um, now I realize how important nutrition is for getting to where you want to be. And um, it's, you know, it's, it is 80% of your results and 20% of that is what you do in the gym. Um, so, you know, getting the right, the right, uh, nutrients and the calories that I needed in order to build size, lose weight, burn fat. Um, it, it took some research and I asked a bunch of questions to people that knew more about it. Um, and I was working with someone he was he was training me online his name's Gideon um, you know Gideon um, but he I was working with him for a little while and he was just showing me how you would calculate your macros using this app called my fitness pal which a lot of you know um, and from there it was you know it was a game changer for me so I, I was focusing on the, the amount of protein and carbs I was getting and making sure that my fats were pretty low because I did have a high percentage of body fat, which I wanted to shred off uh, within a couple months. And so, you know, doing that and then changing the intensity of my workouts and not doing the same thing over and over again was, was also a game changer. And, you know, I was just thinking if I just stick with the same workout forever, then I'll just, I'll get to where I want to be, but that's not true. It's important to change the workouts each time you want to shock the muscles. You want to be able to adapt to other things and that's going to help your body grow. And if you just stick with the same thing, you're going to get bored of it. You're not going to want to go to the gym as much. You're not going to be as motivated, um, which then, you know, it gives a bad result on you. Um, so those, I, I, I say those are the two main problems I faced um, for quite some time. And then, you know, it, it was just some simple things that I had to change, which I wasn't sure of until I actually spoke with Gideon and he was giving me some stuff. And from there, I was able to do it all on my own. And now I'm making my own workouts. I'm figuring out my own calories. I'm like, nowadays, I'm increasing my calories by bit by bit each week and seeing how my body reacts to that. And so far I've been pretty good with that. I've been feeling really good. Um, I've put on a little more size. So um, I'm gonna, I'm doing like a mini cut, mini bulk kind of thing during this winter season and then go for a, another shred in the summer. So that should work well, but yeah. Okay, awesome, totally. I'm sure that'll help a ton of different people because um, I know a lot of people want to get goals done with their fitness um when you first got success how did it feel and then if you had a massive failure um how did that feel as well and then how did you get past that if you have anything that you can talk about there <clears throat> well i would start with my failure uh last winter was a really bad time for me um essentially like i just wasn't motivated i when it's cold people get miserable people just want to stay in bed and it's like they want to eat everything and i mean it's during the time where it's like it's thanksgiving it's christmas it's whatever it is and people just want to eat and they want to eat all you get this out of your routine really easily carbs and it puts you out of it and you, you just like i have pretty good self-discipline especially nowadays like I will control myself like yes I will enjoy the foods because I you know 
I'm not going to stay out of that. I'll, there will be days where I'll go crazy and not even think about calories for the day or just not even think about anything I'm eating. I could go full day eating pie and not give a crap, you know? So, um, so the, you know, last winter was hard though, because we had a bunch of leftover pies and stuff and like all this, all these comfort foods. And I would even eat right before bed, which is also a bad thing because your stomach doesn't have time to digest that. It just sits there. And then it just stores as fat overnight. Um, so they do recommend eating at least two to three hours before you go to bed. Um, but that was one thing. I just didn't go to the gym as much. I was going maybe three, three to four times a week. Other than, like, otherwise, I was just so busy and then – I just got lazy and all I wanted to do was just chill and not do anything. Um, and I just didn't, I, I stopped doing cardio and I, yeah, I just wasn't on top of my game at all. And I think the foods I was eating too was also changing my motivation. And it also, it, it really does show like the, the stuff you eat, it, it really just, it changes the way you feel. Yeah. Um, I've, I've definitely realized that um, after like eating more vegetables and like more healthy stuff. I feel great in the mornings. I feel like I want to do more and whatever. And if I eat like crap, the next day I kind of feel gross. I feel full still. And I just don't want to do anything until I get some caffeine in me or something. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's, and then my biggest success, I mean, now I, so after that, when I started, going hard and just changing my workouts here and there and fixing a bit of things and just making my workouts more intense and also focusing more on my calories. That was a, another, it was just a big game changer for me. And now I'm, I'm really happy with where I'm at right now. I'm inspiring a lot of people. They are coming to me. They're asking me for advice and whatnot. And I'm always help, happy to help out and whatever, you know, yeah, totally. So that's what, that's what motivates me today, especially. For sure. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. They really just show it. Um, what's like future goals for you look like? Um, and then, well, I, yeah, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, no, I hope to, um, I hope to be working with other brands uh, whether that's supplements or, you know, clothing or, you know, whatever it is that, you know, they, they do value those who give out good content and are just bringing out good value to people and changing people's lives in a positive manner. Um, like Gymshark, for example, they, they focus on the people that are going to bring that positivity and, you know, they have that personality that just fits in to their family um that would be a great opportunity to work with them it would be a great opportunity to just have other sponsorships and you know get known from them and like their their followers and whatnot and i want to be able to i, I want to be able to bring results to people and you know remember me for that and you know know what i'm about and that i'm not going to be one of those guys who are like guaranteed get you abs and like you know, a month or whatever, but they can trust me and know that they're going to get where they want to get within X amount of time. Um, yeah. So just long story short, just want to be more of a inspiration and I hope to, you know, just eat better every day and just know more about my stuff and know what I'm doing and being able to help someone without having any issues. Totally. Um, that was kind of my last question, but is there anything in general that you want to touch on or tell people or just anything in general before we move on? Um, <clears throat> I guess I could say that there, there is no such thing that there is no such thing as I can't, like, I, I can't do this. I, I don't 
see myself doing this. I don't see myself being there. Like as much as I'd love to be there, I just can't do it. Um, oh, like, you know, yeah, stuff like that. It, it doesn't exist. And you're just telling yourself that because yeah, it is a lot of work and stuff and you just don't think you can accomplish that in your life. It's not true. You can do it. And I, I was at that stage. Like I, I've seen people doing their shows and whatnot. And I'm like, how the hell are they doing that? You know? And I, I know that I could do it once I started seeing progress and now I'm like considering, like considering doing a show. Um, I just, I don't know about the, the one thing that's keeping me back is the whole calorie situation. So I'm, 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 I can believe that I can do it, but it's just some things that are worrying me about it, but I'm not saying that I can't do it. Um, yeah. So for those of you who are, are not that physically active, but want to change, know that you can, and it is possible. There's tons of case studies out there of people who have really just transformed their whole lives inside and outside. Um, and they feel so much better about themselves. So yeah, that's just some advice that I have. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, no, I'm sure that's going to help a lot of people. And, um, to anyone watching this, just check out his Instagram and all his social media stuff. We'll put them in the description because this will be posted on both our YouTube channels and maybe other areas as well, but just check out his stuff, shoot him some questions and whatnot. And yeah, I'm sure that'll help a lot of people out, dude. Um, okay. I think next from here, are we going to shift to questions for me or just general topics? Yeah, no, I can, um, I'll ask you a couple questions if you want to ask you some. Okay. Yep. Go for it. We'll do that. And then we will probably wrap up the video. Okay. Well, um, how long have you been, how long has, have you been doing this whole business for, uh, how long have you been working for yourself? Yeah. So it'll be in, um, July, it'll be two years. This coming July, it'll be two years. Mm -hmm. So as of right now, a little bit over a year and a half in July, it'll be two years. Yeah, it's crazy how time flies. It felt like yesterday when you were calling me up and you were like, hey, I'm thinking of doing this. <laughs> yeah, no, and now no. you're like going at it. <clears throat> so uh, like what what is it exactly that you're doing? Okay, um, pretty much what I do is I just help businesses grow and then I help other people start their business. So actually what I'll do is this will be kind of cool for me is earlier today I was working on like really defining um, like what it is I do so when someone asks me that I can just I don't like stutter around or even like the the response I gave you right there it wasn't the best that I wanted it to be and I know it's very important so like for example today to answer your question there's kind of two sides of my business there's the side where I'm helping the health and wellness business owners which in my case would be like chiropractors cryo skin body contouring um, fitness, um, even dentists sometimes and just different stuff like that, but mainly like health and wellness. And so for them, I pretty much have written down, Hey, we help driven business owners who want to escape like fake partners, um, that don't focus on building long-term genuine connections while implementing and iterating powerful systems to grow your business that we execute together. And then in doing that, it will renew passion in your own business and give you predictable and sustained growth. So that's like one thing I know there's a lot of like BS words, but that's like something super short and sweet that I could tell people um, for one side of my business. The other side is kind of like my mentorship, which I definitely want to start focusing on that a lot more. Um, and I'm kind of thinking of doing like two tiers. Like right now it's like very one-on-one. -on -one. It's like a course side with one-on-one, -on -one, but I kind of want to do a lower tier where it's super, super cheap. I mean, it's already really cheap. It's really cheaper. And it's just like almost all a course and like just, a little bit of Q&A stuff here and there. And for that one, what I wrote was we help driven entrepreneurs avoid overpriced courses and recycled mentorships by giving a profound one-on-one -on -one mentorship with someone who cares about you and your success and provides clarity and predictable steps to growth and how to overcome the challenges that come with it. So once again, probably a ton of words, but that's kind of something that I think is a staple is just defining your, like, your one-liner. And those are kind of the two sides of my business, if that answers your question. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, what, what motivated you to get started on it? So when I started, um, 
I was kind of trying to do something similar that you're doing right now. I was going to do just like a fitness page and my Instagram page and now would used to be the fitness page and I was just going to post fitness content and whatnot. And then hopefully down the future, it wasn't very planned out, but just, I was thinking, Hey, eventually down the line, I'll just grow this. And then what I'll do from there is I'll, um, I'll get just like fitness programs or like training people. And that's how it started. And then through a mutual friend online, I met someone that said, Hey, I can help grow your Instagram page and all your pages with like real people and followers and whatnot. And they could buy your stuff. I was like, sweet. Yeah, let's do it. And he paid, charged me like a couple, like 200, 300 bucks for it. And when I was talking to him more and more, he was telling me how he's helping a ton of people with this. And I was like, shoot, you're helping like 10 people with 300 bucks a month per person. That's, that's quite a, I can add up to quite a lot of money. I was like, why can't I do it? He was like, you can. And so that was my first mentor. And that's kind of how I got into this thing. I got my very first credit card when I was 18, when this happened, I'm, I'm just turned 20 now. And I maxed it out at a thousand bucks for this mentorship maxed it out. It was super scary back then. And then I did his mentorship and then I started working with dentists, which was ridiculous. And you remember me talking to you about this all the time. Like I, I used to drive around and just like knock on door to door and just like try to sell these dentists. And from that, I got about three dentist clients and then kind of just shifted from there where I got other mentors. I paid off that credit card and now I'm just kind of where I'm at now where more people are coming to me and I'm just using different ways of leverage to get people to work with me. Yeah, I mean, I, I do remember doing the whole, um, <laughs> I was kind of doing the same thing as you and you were teaching me through it. But you know, I was, it just wasn't working well for me. Um, mainly because it wasn't really something I would enjoy in the long run. And it is important to do something that you want to do. Um, and not just force yourself to like something that you don't think you'll stick with. Um, because then that's also how you lose your results. That's also how you just keep plummeting in whatever it is. Um, that's why I chose to do health and fitness instead. But yeah. Well, I've seen like I've seen like my, there's been some mentees that I've helped where like I can tell they really are not genuinely, like they don't want to make their own business. And like the, the big fad term or buzz term, even now I think is SMMA, like social media marketing agency. Like that's what people want to do. And they see that and like, they don't like, I ask a lot of people and I'm like, Oh, who do you want to work with? Like, who do you want to help? A lot of like 90% of the people I initially talked to say dentists. And, they're in, and I made the same mistake. The reason why is because the idea is, Oh, dentists, they charge a lot of money for their services. I can charge them five grand, get them like two clients a month, get them like 20 grand and then I'll be good. Right. Yeah. It's not the case at all. And like I ask them dentists and that's what they say. Oh, it's because of the money. Or sometimes I'll say, hey, like, who do you want to work with? Um, you know, make sure it's someone that you are genuinely passionate about. People will tell me dentists, and I'll say, so are you, like, genuinely passionate about them? Like, oh, yeah, totally. Like, like, I could, like, maybe some people are really passionate about being a dentist or, like, working with dentists, but I know a majority of the time that's not the case. And if you do something that you're more passionate about, if, if there's two people, there was me, like, for example, and, like, no hard feeling, like, this goes with anyone. If there's me who's extremely passionate about what I'm doing and you who's not extremely passionate about the same thing. The person that's more passionate is going to get farther than the other. You know, same yeah. with the, the fitness page. I didn't do it because I wasn't as passionate about it. So we kind of switched in a sense, but it, whoever's more passionate will end up on top every time with their specific thing, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I totally agree. And uh, that also leads to my next question. Um, where do you see yourself in the next five to 10 years from now? Yeah. So, um, ideally with my goals, I like to get a, set a really big goal for like 20, maybe even 30 years down the line. I have like a 20 year goal. And then what I do is from that 20, I'll say, okay, what do I need to do in the next 10 years? Okay. What do I need to do in the next five years? And then what do I need to do in the next like two years, one year to get there? And then every month and then every week and then every day, I kind of like reverse engineer it down from that like 20 year goal. Um, but where I kind of want to be is I definitely want to be in real estate. I'm hoping to buy my first investment property in the summer. Um, I want to build a just really big real estate empire, and that's going to be my main thing. Um, but I also want to keep my current business going, which is kind of consulting and business growth. I want to keep that going as well and maybe make it a little more hands off. And I may be even thinking about, because um, I mentioned like the two tiers of my mentorship, like a, a lower tier and then a higher tier. And there's the same with the business growth side of things. 
maybe build another company or help someone build another company company and sell it to someone for a ton of money or something like that. I mainly just want to build up my capital, build a huge real estate empire, commercial real estate, ideally. Um, and then from there, just continue to build businesses or help others build businesses because I really like the whole idea behind it. And I, I, I just really like doing it. So that's kind of where I see myself in the next 20 years ish, 10, 20 years. Okay, sweet. So then what, like, what strategies do you take to make your, um, to make your goals or like mainly your short term goals? Like what, what strategies do you take in order to make those or take those on, um, to get to your big goals? So usually like every week I structure daily, um, into like a few different categories. So there's like the learning category where I take an hour or two every day to learn something new, but not only learn it, but actually like take action on it that day. So whether it's, I read something in a book and I like the idea of it, I will do it that day. Or whether I see a video online, once again, I'll do it that day. So there's like that learning side of things. Second side of things, or second like bucket is just like making sure that my clients, my mentees um, are happy and they're getting results and their results are getting better every day, not worse. Um, that's kind of the second bucket of things. The third is just improving my business and making my business more unique. So I, I will brainstorm like new ideas. What can I, what can I make? What can I create? What can I implement? What can I do that's going to make my business better and anyone else or this is going to make it better than it currently is my only competition is myself. So that's the third thing. Um, the other thing is just like long-term planning. So like usually like I'll look at real estate properties or something like that. Um, but long-term planning, constantly looking at like my goals and figuring out like where I want to be, making sure I'm on track and then learning something new. I think I already said that. Um, and then mainly just like relaxing too here and there, like you shouldn't be at least once a week, like you shouldn't be working all the time or so you're going to get completely burnt out. So like, even like, you know, at nighttime, I'll just relax. I won't really do too much, but maybe reading here and there or just really not doing anything. So that's kind of what I'm doing daily is learning, making sure I implement all that, trying something new, making sure my results are getting better, starting a new idea or a new project. And then, um, just constantly like making everything better. So. Okay. Um, and then my last question for you is the obstacles. Like what, what were the biggest obstacles that you faced during this whole journey so far? <clears throat> yeah. So there's two main ones that I can think of that are really sticking out to me. So one of them was when it was, I'd say last year, like October maybe or September, around well before then it was like kind of like august july august september of last year i honestly had like i didn't have a lot of clients i didn't have a lot of money coming in i didn't have any other job but my own business and i was kind of running on savings and my girlfriend providing me money for for things yeah. um, and like i remember at the time I really didn't want to get, I was door dashing a lot to get money and it helped. But sometimes like, you know, I needed like, Hey, I need an extra hundred bucks to pay for this thing for my girlfriend and I'd pay her back in like a couple of days or something. But you know, and I had credit cards maxed out from some mentorships and I was just in a really tough spot. I didn't have a lot of clients and it was really stressful. I remember, but you know, I, I don't know how it happened or what happened, but like out of nowhere, I just it didn't stop. I kept going and I closed a few more clients. I did really, really good. And then the end of September last year, I got a new car, which is really cool. So I kind of rewarded myself for that. And then the other time was kind of around November last year as well. So I was doing really good. And then I got a huge client that left me and then I felt like devastated. And now I don't know why, but all the, like that, I don't know how I even got past all this. I don't remember specifically what I did. It was just weird. I just kept going at it, but I had a huge client drop me. And then, and that's when I made my first mentorship program. And then like last year, December was like one of the best like months I've ever had. And I mean, now this year has been like better than all of uh, December, all of last year, for sure. This year has been the best year of my business and I only see it going up. And so I remember like I had nothing going for me, really. I had like a few clients here and there that were barely helping me. I was doing better. Um, the new car took off a little chunk, so it made me need to work harder. Um, but then I remember I just started my mentorship. I got as many people as I could. 
once one person was in, it just spread like wildfire. One person came in, referred two other. They came in, referred three others, and then just grew from there. I mean, it's not really big right now. I have like 20 members in my mentorship program, but still it grew so quick. And those are the two biggest ones is just a lot of financial insecurity. And then, you know, my girlfriend like, oh, you need to get a job or, you know, I don't want to like keep having to give you money. It was like really pissing me off <laughs> back then. Yeah. Like, Gosh, like, what the hell? Do you not think I can do it? I just remember stuff like that and it was really, really annoying. But then when I did it and like now it's like, I feel a lot better about it. So those are the two main things. It, it's very difficult. Like being an entrepreneur or starting a business is very difficult. Um, it's not easy. So, yeah. And we all, we all start somewhere. We have to start somewhere and, and in order to grow. Otherwise, if we just don't do anything and just dream, we're not going to, we're not going to get, we're not going to make those dreams come true. Yeah, you learn from uh, your mistakes. Whatever mistake you make, you'll build above that totally. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's that's like also a really big change within like a year and a half. I mean, 20, 20 mentees and or did you say mentees or clients? There's, I have like right now, I have 20 mentees and then I have about, it ranges from like, I'd say like 13 to 20 clients each month. So like, I'll have like, I usually have like 12 consistent clients and then sometimes I'll get like a one-off consulting deal one month or maybe they'll stay on for four months because they won't need my help for that long and then they'll go to a lower package. But yeah, it's between like 12 to 20 clients a month consistently. And I have a client, a guy, like sometimes I get in my head and like if like a few clients leave or something like that or whatever, I, I get in my head sometimes, but then I always find ways to get new people to pay me. Yeah, <laughs> like, I mean, you're making value, but yeah. Yeah. And I mean, you're making a great income so far and like you're just on the right track and from there people are going to people in that in your network right now are going to spread the words to other people and they're going to refer you. So, you know, I would just keep that in mind. And if they decide to not work with you, then it's their loss. You, you just keep doing what you're doing. There's tons of other people that need help out there. Yep. Um, but yeah, that's all I've got for you. Cool. Yeah, no, I think we can, we can kind of wrap it up here. It was, this is really cool. We, we should keep on doing it, whether we bring other people on or we each separately bring on other people. We cover different topics every week. Um, whoever's watching this, wherever you're watching this, comment or send a message to either of us if you have like a topic or a question specifically you want us to cover and maybe we'll do it if we get enough of them. Um, but yeah, no, that's, that's it. That was awesome. Thank you. All right. Yeah, thank you for having me on here and hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Yeah, you too. Yeah. <laughs> all all right. right. Cool, man. I'll, I'll talk to you soon and I'll see all you guys later. Just This will probably be up on YouTube, so be sure to like, subscribe and all that good stuff and we will talk to you guys in the next one. Cool. cool. See ya. See ya.